Will this Klim cooling pad cool down my overheating laptop? Let's find out. This is my MSI Creator 15 gaming and video editing laptop with the RTX 3080. And when I game, it can get up to 90 degrees Celsius. So this is already a really good sign. Having this seal is a big deal. So we have the laptop cooler, the manual, stickers, the power cable, the replacement seal, and deflectors, which I'll talk about in a second. Before I start testing this on the laptop, I wanna go over a few things. So a big deal with this laptop cooler is that it does have the seal around the airflow. If you've watched my videos in the past, you know that this is a big deal. These are the intakes, and they do have air filters, so that's really cool to see. So the air comes in through these and blows straight out through these fans here. It's powered by USB and it has an extra USB that's taking up that USB part on your computer. You can elevate the unit, which is really nice. These are the functions. So we have the on and off switch, LED, and the three fan speeds. And we can adjust these as well. All these holes on the bottom of my laptop is the air intake to cool down my laptop. We have an exhaust part here, two on the back, and another one on the side. So if I were to place it on this laptop cooler, I need to make sure that all those intake parts underneath this laptop is being sealed within the parameter of this laptop cooler. If we take a close look, this is the most optimal way to set the laptop onto this cooler for me. If I slid my laptop down this way so it can touch these, we now have a gap back here so it's not a perfect seal. So I need to slide my laptop a little further back so it won't be touching these little hooks here. So that is how my laptop wants to sit on this laptop stand. So we need to figure this out. And turning this to the side, we've already discussed that this is the air intake for the laptop cooler. This is the exhaust for my laptop. This is one thing that really impressed me is that they thought about that problem. That's when these come in. Move the paper back on the 3M tape. And if you notice that there are perfect grooves that this was sit in right here. So we have to plug in the laptop cooler. Nice long cable that's probably five feet long. It's six feet long, okay? That's probably how I'm gonna have it. A lot of airflow coming from this. So this is actually a bit loud as you can see. But it has some pretty decent airflow. So let's go ahead and play a game with the laptop on the laptop stand, I'll be recording my hard drive temperatures with this drill and my CPU and GPU temps with MSI Afterburn. Then I'll be using OBS to record both of my screens. We hit a critical temperature on my solid state drive, 64 degrees, hot. CPU is at 95 degrees. All right, let's hop into a game and see what these temperatures look like. GPU temperature is looking really good, 60 degrees Celsius. My CPU is hovering between 80 and 95 degrees Celsius. And that's just in the game menu or lobby. And my solid state drives are reaching a critical temperature at 54 to about 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I'm getting 60, 70 frames per second. That's so odd, the CPU temperature has gone down when I'm in the game. And the GPU temperature is hovering around the same-ish degrees. Okay, temperatures are looking pretty steady there. Let's place my laptop on flat on the desk. CPU temps are hitting up to 80 degrees. Solid state drives are 55, 58 degrees, still the same. Let's give it just a bit longer. I'm used to the Apex control, so this is feeling a little weird. The frames are 63, 66 frames per second, 68. CPU is 78. GPU is slowly creeping up, we're at 67 degrees. Let's go ahead and place the laptop on this laptop stand. I'm gonna keep it off just to see how the airflow is, okay? So the temperature immediately drops when I picked up the laptop. We are now sealed on the laptop stand. 65 degrees GPU, 80 degrees CPU. The GPU temperature seems to be leveling out at 65 degrees, which is, which is lower than it was on the, the desk, and about the same as the laptop stand. CPU temperatures are decreasing. They are decreasing. The average is going down. That looks good. That looks good to me. The solid state drive temperature on the bottom has gone down, okay? So that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn on the laptop stand. When you turn it on, it does have a fan speed. That's like temperature went down below 50 degrees on that solid state before I turn on the fan. So I knew that temperature was going down. So that, that's fantastic. This laptop stand, there is a fan speed. I'm gonna call it zero. It is a fan speed though. It, the fans do turn on. So before we elevate the laptop stand, let's go and turn on all the fans. So this is fan speed three, the fastest fan speed. 
and it is sitting flat on the desk. GPU temps have gone down. My CPU temps are also leveled out much lower as well. So with the laptop stand off, I was looking at 65 degrees GPU and CPU was ranging and averaging about 80 degrees Celsius. Now I'm gonna say we're averaging 73 degrees. My guy just ran right past that dude. What the heck? I'm playing with bots. Now let's elevate this laptop and see if anything changes. I do wonder if my laptop's gonna stay in that spot. It's not looking like it. Not without me holding it here. I have something holding it in place. Let's see what happens. I don't think this is gonna change much to be honest. Okay, so elevating the laptop didn't do much of anything to it. The fan has decreased the solid state temperatures by 45 degrees Celsius. The GPU temperature, about the same, 45 degrees Celsius. And the CPU temperature from it sitting flat on the table, about 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. But there's one more test I wanna give it. Let's play the Apex. We're gonna start this game with the fan off on the laptop cooler. Let the temperatures increase, let them flatten out. Then we will turn it on and see how the temperatures change. Everything's on ultra and high. As you can see, my solid state drives are already reaching 50 degrees Celsius, and you don't ever want them to reach 70 degrees Celsius, so we're gonna have to monitor that. I'm dropping a lot of frames. I think it's, it's getting pretty hot. CPU is at about 85 to 90 degrees Celsius. My GPU is at 64 degrees Celsius. Solid state drives are slowly increasing. Okay, GPU 66, CPU 76 to 82 degrees. The, uh, the bottom solid state drive is at 48 degrees Celsius, which I'm very surprised. Maybe it's a fan hitting it directly. And the top one is at 57 degrees, which is a bit hotter than I'd like it to. So let's go ahead and turn the fan on on max speed. GPU temps are 63 degrees. CPU temps are hovering around 70, 73 degrees. Solid state drives, they haven't changed much. 49 degrees on the bottom one and 54 degrees on the top one. And my frames per second has increased because the laptop is not overheating anymore. So that's great. I think it does a pretty fantastic job, especially at cooling down your laptop. Now my particular laptop just did not fit perfectly on here, but that's why there's a refund. <laughs> Trying to find the best laptop cooler is all about trial and error. When I did have it sit on the seal pretty nicely, it did cool down the laptop pretty significantly. Since it does not fit perfectly for me, I'm not going to keep it. However, I think you should try it out. It does have pretty strong fans and it does get the job done just fine. And it's a decent price as well. I have a link down below for your convenience if you want to check it out. And if you want to see how this compares to the IETS GT500, check out this video. It's Chris, always appreciate and respect one another. I'll see you next time.